Hello, it's Yita and welcome to today's video. I have got a mug of tea. I invite you to go and get a drink of your choice, sit down and let's have a chat. So today I wanted to talk about um, some things that you can do to prepare for back to school mentally. I think, yes, of course, it's important to prepare physically for back to school, you know, getting all the stationery that you need, packing your bag for the school day, but I think it's equally, if not even more important to prepare mentally for back to school and falling back into the mindset of school. I do want to apologize though, because this video was meant to go up on Thursday, but unfortunately I just felt really anxious this last week. Um, I think it's just an accumulation of lots of things, but definitely, you know, going back to school, I feel like back to school season is so overhyped and especially like sick form, it's like, oh, A-levels are so difficult. And I think it really got to me. Um, so yeah, I just didn't really feel like filming or doing anything for that matter, but I am back now and I'm feeling much better. Um, but I think it's really important to be open online and even this, you know, the anxiety that I had is so reflective of how important it is to prepare mentally for back to school in a slow, gradual, kind way, because the transition from summer where you have all this free time and you do little to no work to then suddenly going back to full time school and it's like all this pressure and stress, that is a big shift in your time. That is quite a big change. And I think it's important to yeah prepare mentally which is why I'm making this video, just to give you some advice on things that you can do to, yeah, get back into the mindset of school. So the first thing you can do is set some intentions or even goals for the new school year. And I don't mean setting goals like, oh, I want to get all A stars by the end of year 11 or anything kind of physical. It doesn't need to be about grades or even about building up habits like drinking lots of water and doing exercise, even though those are obviously good habits to pick up. These intentions can just be, for example, I want to be more open to learning new things or I want to socialise with a wider group of people or I want to find enjoyment in my maths lessons, even though I don't enjoy maths or just something like that. The intentions are kind of something that you want to try to do in the following year to grow as a person, but also just enrich and enjoy your school experience even more. This is a vanilla rubos tea from Dragonfly and it is my favorite tea of all time. I've been drinking this for years and it's incredible. <laughs> I would highly recommend. So the second thing that you can do is create some lists of things that you're really excited about school. So these could be clubs that you really want to join, events that are coming up, subjects that you're really excited to study, but also just little things that you really want to learn more about or even friends that you want to uh, see more. Basically, yeah, get, getting yourself excited for school life and kind of having things to look forward to. Then the third thing to do is kind of going against what I said earlier in this video, but getting physically ready for school. For example, packing your bag, getting all the stationery that you need, finishing um, any summer work that you've been set. By doing this physical preparation, sometimes that can also help to shift your mental mindset because your brain is automatically going to be gearing up for back to school because you've done all this physical prep. Um, so yeah, physical preparation obviously is really important and it can help your mental mindset. But I think that you do need to do some other things in order to fully prepare uh, mentally for back to school. And then the fourth thing is um, something that I haven't even done yet. Uh, I think humans are very good at giving advice, but not very good at taking advice for themselves. Um, that is to fix your sleep schedule. My sleep schedule is atrocious at the moment, really bad. I've been struggling to sleep a little, but also just in general, like, it's not good. Um, sleeping late, waking up late. In the summer, that's fine because you want to relax and have fun. But with school starting really soon, uh, I think it's important to start shifting back your sleep time and also just waking up earlier so that you're not feeling absolutely exhausted once school starts. Because that's the last thing you want. You're already overwhelmed with all this new information and new environment that you're in and you just don't need to be tired on top of that. Then the next thing kind of leads off from that, but start doing your morning and night routine. 
for school even in the summer before actually going back so i don't just mean write out your morning and night routine and be like that's what i'll do when i start going back to school i mean actually do it now in the summer um however many however many days you have left if you need to wake up at seven, then wake up at seven every day and do exactly what you would do apart from the fact that you're not going to school because it will ease your way into these new routines now that you're going back to school and make the transition a little bit more streamlined. And then the last thing is probably the most important thing in terms of getting back into the mindset of school and that is go into the school year believing it's going to be a great, amazing year you know, kind of almost manifest and see your future. What do you want your year to look like? Think about all the things you want to achieve. Think about all the things that you want to enjoy. And by kind of imagining yourself back at school and just slightly over romanticizing um, back to school, you will just be more likely to actually live this year that you are foreseeing and just, yeah, be more excited for the new school year. So yeah, that is my advice for getting ready uh, mentally for back to school. I am extremely excited for sixth form, but equally quite nervous. Um, and that is mostly my fault because I kind of overhyped sixth form um, by just overthinking in general, which is not good. So yeah, try not to stress yourself and try not to overhype back to school because I think it even on social media can be like this whole big thing, back to school season, A-levels are hard, GCSEs are hard, it's so hard. And you forget that school isn't just about stress and exams, school is also about having fun and socializing and just enjoying learning. So yeah, please don't uh, stress and good luck for the next year. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Mm -hmm.